Hey guys, how are we all doing? Finally, it's time to do some modifications to the 3DR Solo. In today's video, I am going to be changing out the GPS mod within the 3DR Solo for the more upgraded Rev B mod that I bought off the 3DR Solo website when they were doing the little quick flash sale that they were doing. Also, I've bought the upgraded GPS Shield, which I'll also be adding on to it. So let's roll the intro and get straight with the video guys. So firstly what I'll need to do is actually get into the GPS shield which is located in this section of the 3DR. Now to get to it I'll need to firstly pop off this little cap here and then unscrew the top bit here which will go through once I've popped off the thing. So let's start and pop this straight off. So firstly you just Grab the little screwdriver and pull it in the side and pry the sides open like that. Be very gentle, making sure you don't want to break anything. So you've got one this side, one that side, and one at the top here. Or two at the top, one on either side. Unclip that, and then that cap bit comes off. So just make sure you're gentle so you don't break any of these clips here. So you've done that, put that to the side. And then you can actually see through these holes the old GPS mod. Currently the one in there is the green one, which if I'm right in saying which ones we'll see when we get in, will be the Rev A GPS mod. And you can also see the copper type of shield that's currently already on it, the GPS shield, which I've got the upgraded bolder to. So firstly what we're going to need to do is take out some screws, and there's seven of them. We've got one there, two... Three, four, five, six, and seven. So I'll just quickly go ahead and remove them screws. That should go and use the screwdriver provided with the gimbal. Once we've removed all seven screws, we literally need to lift this up slightly. Just see like that. As you're lifting it up, just bear in mind to pull slightly forward. So, so you're gonna have to pull slightly the back ways because you want to bear in mind you don't want to snap these leads within here where the actual battery oops sorry where the actual battery uh, connector is so hopefully mine is actually okay I did go slightly forward but it looks like it's still fine and connected in and once you've opened that you'll see this wire here that goes to the GPS board just need to be careful to snap that oh not snap that to unclick that there is a clip on the other side here so you just need to press in and jar open and oh there you go one of the last screws fell out let's put that back where they go and there's the other one so there you go guys that's the actual gps bit connected you can put the solo to the side because that won't actually be needed until you put it all back together and this is the bit we're going to be working with now. So as you can see, on this side of the GPS shield, you've got the actual GPS shield that's covering it. And that's screwed in with two screws there. So next what I'm going to need to do is remove them two screws. So I can peel back the GPS shield. One, and once you've got them screws out you can just go ahead and peel back this GPS shield normally you'd keep that if you didn't have the upgraded shield like I've bought you would keep that because you can reuse it if you were just changing out the actual GPS board some people actually take this up 
and they put a piece of cardboard over the Rev A board which also helps with the GPS satellite but I went ahead and went and bought the upgraded model so I'm not actually going to need that but I probably will keep it for future but we'll just put that to the side for now and then we've gone to the GPS board so the GPS board is actually being held in with another two screws one there one there just literally need to remove them pull it out and slot in the new GPS board so go ahead and we'll do that now Go. Once the screws are out, you just literally pull out the GPS board. So there you go, guys. That is, as it says there, the Rev A GPS board. So I'll actually put that to the side. I'll keep it as a spare part. Go ahead, go ahead, and open up the new Rev A GPS board. Well, there we go guys, that is the new, as it says, well it doesn't actually say Rev B on it anywhere from where I can see, it might do somewhere, there it does, it says it right up there, Rev B, the new GPS board guys, so the difference, not a lot, there's an extra panel by the looks of it on, on the circuit board there, but apart from that it's just the colour difference I guess, black to green, but this one's supposed to be a lot better, get a lot more satellites and work a lot better so let's go ahead and install this board. so again it will just go into the same position as the Rev A was exactly the same size and everything and first of all you line it all up and then you use the first two screws again in the same position that one in. Goodly to get the screw into the little hole, but once you've got it in, it should be quite simple to screw in. There you go. It's not actually in its position, I don't think. Let's put that back up. That screw hasn't gone into position. Pull that back out, line the board up properly. See, this is where you have to make sure the positioning is correct. So, what I just did there was I tried to screw it in and it seemed to have just gone straight through. So, it's all about lining up the positioning of the board, which that seems to be lined up right there with the screw holes. Because it's right next to the connector, it is a bit. It's very slightly fiddly. I think that should do it. This guy's just very fiddly this little bit, just getting that last screw. There we go. And it's in position. Tighten them up. And there you go guys, that's the actual GPS Rev B board 
fitted now so all I need to do is grab the new updated GPS shield I can show you there it's also got creases made out on it that are actually to fit in there and from what I've heard from what I've seen on YouTube it's better to actually fold these creases up first before you actually unpeel it from the backing paper which I'm going to do now Apparently this makes it a lot easier to actually just fill it back down. It's all set up with the hole and the markings for the connector and the hole um, the screws. Again, do that. And then we literally got to go and fill it in the same way as before. So just peel it back. guys can you see that that's back in place so what I'm going to do now is go grab the next two screws that held the GPS shield in they should fit straight through as well There you go guys, just give it a little press down, make sure everything's fitted nicely. As it seems to be now. There you go guys. So let's be with the actual upgraded GPS shield all fitted in. Now the only thing left to do is to attach this back to solo so again grab it over guys pull over that GPS lead that we took off earlier make sure the clip goes in clips into place nicely just have to get up to do because it's getting a bit fiddly there you go just had that little click and let's click back into place slide this down from the back remembering the actual battery bay and once you've done that back into place should actually just click into place I think a bit fiddly I think there we go once done and screw it all back together ready to go seven screws Once that's screwed back into place, just need to slide this cap back on. Just slide from the top. Slide down. Again, another little tricky bit, but you just got to slide it from the front forward. But when you do it make sure that all the clips are in place and down there you go you've had a little click into place and you should be all done so what i'll do is i'll just quickly grab a battery make sure my battery's got any charge 
turn solo on, make sure everything is okay. And solo turned on. So there you go guys. That is the install of the upgraded and updated Rev B GPS mod and the updated GPS shield. Hope that video helped and you enjoyed guys. Please stay tuned and subscribe for many more videos on the 3DR Solo and much more other things to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.